there he is again trying to prod Kim Kardashian to saying something negative about Trump, saying something negative, and she just says, no, I, I love Melania. And you can see she's just not going to respond to it. So go on. All right, I really do have not too much news, but some interesting news I need to get to, including something that was just handed to me, which is funny that my producer hands this to me because it actually goes against the narrative that I wanted to talk about today. But, I, but, but it plays into the whole thing that I was going to report anyway when it comes to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube stock this week. But I'll get to that in a minute. You just had this announced. Now, here, again, here's the thing about InfoWars that you're just not going to get anywhere else. And I'm not trying to be insulting. I mean, I, I don't mind insulting the majority of people that go on CNN and MSNBC, but I mean, honestly, Fox News people, I think they're good people for the most part. There's some people on there I can't stand. But you have to remember, most of these people that work at Fox News, I would say outside of probably Carlson, Ingram, Hannity, outside of those three, I, I would say that most, and besides like the, 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 the panel shows they do, like the five, most of their content is all scripted out and read off a teleprompter. All of it. So they can't do deep analysis like we do here at InfoWars live broadcasts. In fact, I don't know how many of them could even do a three-hour teleprompter free show. So you don't get the little details that they overlook because they seem minute, but they don't understand how important they are. For example, they just announced that the jury has been selected for the Manafort trial. Now, to the average person, this seems mundane and trivial. No, this is actually very key. So I'm reaching out to Tyler Nixon, who I'm hoping can join me in the second hour when Roger Stone picks it up with us, and then Steve Pachinik joins me in the third hour, because let me tell you something. The jury selection for this Manafort trial could be the key to either shutting it down or, but I don't see how this is possible since, but you know what, I'm going to wait and I'm going to get into this with Tyler with Tyler Nixon, because he's the expert on this. So so hopefully he can get into this with me today. Now, I'll get to the violence or, or potential violence that we may be facing this weekend when it comes to the protest in Portland. And I find it ridiculous how they want to blame InfoWars or Trump supporters for violence when now Antifa is talking about bringing guns for a direct confrontation at the pro-Trump rally. Look, man, you know, we're all Americans here. I don't think you really want to pull the trigger. I don't know what kind of high or rise you get out of this, but just, just be smart, okay? Whatever beef you have in life, you can beat it. Whatever, whatever struggle you're going through, you can persevere, but only if you believe. If you dress up like some Nazi thug and put on a black mask and carry a gun around and, and stand around on Portland for a couple hours to, because that's your symbolic victory, well, you're never going to be fulfilled. You have to go through the fiery crucible of life and, and to actually suffer and struggle to earn success. They just want to bitch and complain and show up with a gun and then hope we'll give them success. Well, that's not how it works. If you just kill your enemy, you still don't win. Uh, but I'll get more into that. I want to get into this, though, right now. Now, look, Jimmy Kimmel used to do the man show, uh, has done other things in the past. I thought it was funny growing up. I, I I didn't mind. I mean, you know, don't watch the man show, Owen. Oh, of course not, Mom. And then immediately you flip to the girls bouncing on trampolines. So I grew up watching Jimmy Kimmel. And it's sad to see how partisan he goes, and he's just willingly – the mouthpiece of Chuck Schumer. I don't know why Jimmy Kimmel wants to be the mouthpiece of Chuck Schumer. I don't know if Jimmy Kimmel thinks it's funny when he makes jokes about killing Alex Jones or making fun of Alex Jones, but he's clearly gone full partisan to Democrats. Whether that's his true beliefs or he's just sold out or whatever it is, that's where he's at. So Kim Kardashian goes on Jimmy Kimmel last night, and look, Kim Kardashian for me has been a punching bag as a broadcaster for the sheeple. And the more I look into it, I mean, I guess it's not even her fault. I mean, she's honestly smart for taking advantage of who she is and what she looks like and the brain-dead Americans that'll slop up anything that she puts her name on. So really, she's, she's that smart. But here's Jimmy Kimmel 
trying to push Kim Kardashian last night on the show. Again, now I'm thinking she's smarter than she looks or, or appears. And then you'll hear some other audio that makes you think, well, maybe she's not. But I'm going to try to play this uninterrupted, and then we'll come back to it. So listen to Jimmy Kimmel last night trying to push Kim Kardashian to say something anti-Trump, and she didn't do it. You did something <laughs> remarkable. You actually got something done in Washington, D.C., which is remarkable. Oh, you went you. to visit... Uh, uh, pause it right the there. Yeah, yeah. Because Trump hasn't gotten anything done in D.C., just record everything. He just rewritten the record books. But, Kim, oh, you got something done in D.C. That never happens. No, except for Trump. That's the point. It's Trump. It's not Kim Kardashian that's getting things done in Washington. It's Donald frickin' Trump. Go back. United I States. I how did. did this happen? In the, like, how did it, it get to that point? Um, I knew that there was only one person in power that can make this change and get this woman out Bingo. of prison that was So there she is, giving sentence. Trump the credit. So She's like, no, it's not me, it's Shirtless Trump. Marie Johnson. Marie Johnson. Yes. She'd been in prison for what? Um, for a nonviolent first-time drug offense. How long had and she Trump been in? And Trump got her out. Uh, 20, 22 years. 22 you think the left would be yes, celebrating this? I'm starstruck from the Oval Office, and the first thing I say in our meeting, Now here's Kim I Kardashian. Say, Holy <laughs> we're in the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> what I said to him. That was the first thing I said. And I had to take a moment to be like, wait, we're really here. That's yeah, crazy. especially weird that he's there, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, I'm very grateful and I'm very hopeful that more good things are going to so, come so out. So pause it right there. So there he is again. There, and there's other things. I, I, I had to cut this up for time, but there's, there he is again. Oh, yeah, trying to diss Trump. And she's like, you know, hey, I'm not going there. I'm grateful. Go, roll it on. Do you have a list now of people that you might ask him to release from prison? I do. You I've been do. working on it. Is Melania few. on it? <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. I love Melania. <laughs> I know. I that's Melania. what we love Melania. She needs so to be So pause it right there. Uh, so there he is again. There he is again. Love free mo there he is again trying to prod Kim Kardashian to saying something negative about Trump, saying something negative, and she just says, no, I, I love Melania. And you can see she's just not going to respond to it. So go on. For that. And, and I know that you're not necessarily a Trump supporter. I know your husband, Kanye, seems to like him a lot. Does he still yeah. like him? Um, yeah, I think he really, um, he really, yeah. Do you guys <laughs> Do you guys argue about that? Is that something do you talk politics and like have debates about? You know what? No, because no. I always respect what other person thinks and, and I respect you what know, other person thinks. To make thinks it clear, too. when Kanye we would talk about it and we would talk about policies and he doesn't necessarily agree with the policies. He likes his um, kind of just his his personality his way. and and his the, way. and yeah. and how he made it to, to be president when everyone really underestimated him. So he identifies with it in a way, even though he doesn't necessarily agree with what Donald Trump is doing? It's not political, so he doesn't really dig deep into what's going on. Um, so, and I, I always knew that, and, and I always know what he, he meant, but um, I have nothing bad to say about the president. You know, right, he's done you something amazing. Right, still have people amazing. on the list. So you know. I am... So here she's like, look, I may not agree with everything, but I still support him. I think he's a good guy. He's getting stuff done. She she puts her hands on her heart and says, I have nothing bad to say. And there's Kimmel. Yeah, but that's only because you have the list. So, hey, you know what? Kim Kardashian is smart. I give her credit. She doesn't come out as a Trump hater, leading to all the insanity. So good for her. You know, President Trump talks about how we need to be trailblazers, how we need to be outsiders, how we need to expose the current stagnant system that's been suppressing us. Wanting to make us poor so he can consolidate control and buy us up for pennies on the dollar. That really is the globalist system. And he's absolutely right. So it is an honor uh, to be persecuted by the globalist and to be lied about and to be demonized. But it's an honor to draw them out so we can show who they are so that you take action and you take the country back politically, culturally, spiritually. Financially. Another hero is Julian Assange, who's been in solitary confinement in a closet sized room. They converted a closet uh, with a bed and enough room for a laptop. They took that away uh, over a year ago. No communication with the outside. It's all been one hell of a time for him. And he was very bipartisan in that he exposed Republicans, he exposed Democrats. He very judiciously released information that exposed criminal activity of the NSA, criminal activity of the CIA, illegal spying on Congress illegal spying on Trump, 
illegal spying on me, but they had my home number, my old cell, my new cell, and my office line, and they had Donald Trump's mar lago private apartment number that I had. Total proof of Obama spying on Trump and yours truly a decade ago. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real deal. And America's had freedom so long, people don't recognize real tyranny when it hits them right between the eyes. But everyone needs to go to Infowars.com. The article is right up there at the top of the page, red link. Petition to Trump, pardon Julian Assange. And we go over the fact that he engaged in regular journalistic activity and did a wonderful job being advised by top journalism professors around the world. And that he was very, very fair about what he did and that you need to send the message that he's a hero. Now, I know they claim he's a Russian agent with no evidence and all the rest of that garbage, even though they've released stuff on Russia and Israel as well, and China. But it doesn't matter. It's the right thing to do. And you wouldn't have gotten elected without drudge. You wouldn't have gotten elected without what, what you've done, obviously. You can't say it's any one person, but without any of us together, it wouldn't have happened. So we need the president to pardon Julian Assange. And you said in a speech, I don't care who got her illegal server. It's illegal. It's about what she did that's wrong. Don't change the subject. Go back to that instinct, sir. But you told Assange, release it. You said release more stuff. And he's in the crosshairs. And he needs to be pardoned if he's brought back to the United States.